Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Let's Play of Dragon's Dogma 2. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to continue our quest of culling the monsters, or monster culling, something like that. We're going to finish that up. We have to talk to Captain uh, Byron or Brant, something like that. Now, I was going to meet everybody back over at the main city. But as soon as I went to walk out of Stormwind Cave, a cutscene happened. So I went ahead and I shut the game down and I decided I would start recording, show the cutscene, and then we'll cut back over to here. When, well, when we get over here. So let's go ahead and do that now. Leaving so soon? But we've scarcely begun exploring. Hold, sir. I'd rethink pressing onward if I were you. The village is crawling with Saurians. Forgive me. I didn't mean to startle you. I used to call this place home, you see, in times more peaceful. Hmm. You're the Arisen, are you? Well, that's something. We were hoping to reclaim our village, but it doesn't seem we'll have much luck. We fled when the dragon attacked some days past, thinking we'd return once the baleful thing was gone. Easier said than done, clearly. In our absence, a bask of Saurians have made our homes their own. What are we to do? The guards not like to send soldiers all the way out here. Ah. But mayhap they needn't at all. You are the Arisen, I. Could we trouble you to aid us in our hour of need? Please, sir, do something, anything about the Saurians infesting our village. Saurians are bound, Master. Be on your guard. Careful now. Is there. There is over here. I'm gonna have to upgrade Help? my pawn soon. Curative magics are at your disposal. Wait a moment. Well done. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Yeah, there is a lot of Saurians. You've got them right where you want them. Damn it. Damn it. I don't think that's all of them. We'd best report back. Maybe it is. Someone ought to put a stop to this. No, no, no. Is the deed done, good Arisen? Oh, thank you. Thank you. We shall all be able to return to our homes at last. I can hardly wait to bring these tidings to the other villagers. I dare say we'll have this place livable again ere long. I cannot thank you enough. Long will you be known as a friend to our village. If you happen to pass by, do come visit us, won't you? I should like for you to see this place as twas afore the dragon's attack. For your sake, as well as ours, we'll do our utmost to see the village restored. With this, the peril has passed. Still, perhaps we ought to visit the village again anon, just to be certain. Right. Um, so what I'm going to do is come over here to this rift stone. You are. And I'm going to change out our pawns so i will see everybody in just a second Alrighty, i got some new pawns now what we're going to do is we're going to cut the video again but before we do i just want to make sure everybody knows where we're going 
So I'm going to travel down this road until I get to um, Vernworth. Vernworth. Holy moly, that's a mouthful. Um, till we get to Vernworth. And when we do, I will uh, pick up back over there. So in that case, I would like to tell everybody I will see you all in just a second. Alrighty, we are back. I am at Vernworth. Took me quite a while to actually get here. Had a lot to fight. Um, but I went ahead and I put on the quest Vocation Frustration. It says that we had to bring weapons you acquired to the guild and present them to the guild head. Which was that um, Archie Staff and the Great Sword. And then we'll go to Captain Bryant or Bryant. What are you doing? We've not been given lead to rest yet. Hope I'm not getting in anyone's way. Bunch of Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. We ought to put it to good use. Is it trying to remember? Time to go home and write down Bleeding amateurs. No respect. So lost. This is not it. <laughs> There's a chest. Welcome. Be steak, cool. Cool, cool. Where the hell is that area? Ah, uh, here we are. Let's talk to this guy. Good tidings, sir. How fares your retrieval of those plundered weapons? Let's present the Archie staff. Oh. Uh. Will that be all then? Let me see. What else can I tell you about? Always a pleasure. Okay, let's go grab it out of our inventory. I forgot we changed out pawns and I had put them on the pawns before. So they got sent to our storage. Well met. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the form. So let's go over here. Uh, where did the great sword go? Most hospitality in all Vernwood. You know where to find. Is Lucy me. holding the great sword? Hopefully, she's holding the great sword. Good tidings, sir. How fares your retrieval of those plundered weapons? Got one right here. Oh ho! You have procured an archer staff, I see. Most excellent. You may now change your vocation to sorcerer, if it pleases you, sir. However, if you wish to register as a warrior instead, you will need to acquire a great sword. Good tidings, sir. How fares your retrieval of those plundered weapons? So, yeah, I think it was on Lucy. Awesome. Good to know. Marvelous. You have acquired both an archer staff and a great sword. You may now change your vocation as desired, sir. What's more, I bear glad tidings. Twould seem our arms shortage is at an end. I dare say the armory will be resupplied anon. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to assist. See, do we have... Oh, that's pretty freaking cool.
That's good for Lucy. Do come again. Let's rest at the inn for just a moment. Okay, it already went to cooling the the monsters. Something smells divine. Well met, sir. Up to market I go. Well met. You you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospital. I have no issue falling asleep, even at this time. Shall we hunt a few monsters to start the day off? Come, we've much to be getting on with. Feeling rested, I trust. I am going to send this to them. And then I'm going to go down to the Ooh, flowers. Where the hell is the exit here? God, I'm stupid, so I'm so stupid sometimes. Take a closer look? I'm gonna put some stuff away because I'm quite heavy. Well met. You are. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality in all Vernworth. I will see everybody in just a second after I put a bunch of stuff in my storage. All right, I got a bunch of stuff put into my storage. Let's go ahead and exit out of here. And go meet with Captain Brant. Byron. Sure, whatever, Lucy. <laughs> you go do that. Uh, does it have to be night? I bet it does. The person we're here to meet is nowhere to be seen. Shall we come back later? The current hour ill suits our progress. Let us visit an inn or make camp and set out again later. Put well, me in the mood for a song, it does. Here he is. Greetings, Your Majesty. Have you a moment to speak? Welcome. You will want to hear this. Tis information of great import. Tis not a matter for prying ears. Pray, let us speak out here. Welcome. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Um, yeah, I thought we did all this. Tell me about the monster calling. You've done a fine job calling those monsters, your majesty. Tis common knowledge among the people that t'was you who delivered them from danger. The number of those who seek out this tavern in the hope of an audience with the arisen grows by the day. Should you continue to display such valor, the day will soon come when Deesa can no longer deny your presence. And ere it slips my mind. Pray, take this. Tis a symbol of my own gratitude. And with that, our task is done. Ooh. Indeed. You've called more than your fair share of monsters. I expect tales of your valor will soon be told in taverns. We just got a cape. And it looks freaking awesome. And it's better all around. I concur. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Um... Tell me of this masquerade. For some time now, 
Twas said that the false sovereign was recovering from his battle wounds. But as I hear it, he is now well enough to walk unaided. And so, in honor of his supposed valor, they have been holding masquerade in the palace of late. The false sovereign's identity is still beyond our ken. Even the matter of from where he hails remains a mystery. But may up approaching the false sovereign that one of these gatherings could afford you a glimpse into the man behind the mask. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask this task of you? Sure, why not? My thanks. Some of the sentries posted at the masquerades are under my command. I shall have them ease security. So pray, slip into the venue through whatever opening presents itself. Once your infiltration is successful, you will need only don a mask and act the part of an invitee. Few will think to be wary if they believe you a fellow masquerader. Here, this should suffice to help you blend in. Take care, your majesty. Ah, there is one other thing. Masquerades being as they are, you will require suitable raiment. Much is made of appearances at such gatherings, and twould be wisest to dress the part when joining the other revelers. Um, let's look at the quest real quick. Uh, hmm. Doesn't really say much. So we need nicer clothes. Let's go over to maybe the armor smith. Maybe he's got nice clothes. May have you learn aught of this scoundrel who would claim your title if you attend a palace masquerade. We're off to Vern with palace then. I'm afraid I cannot escort you beyond the castle entrance, master. We will have to part ways till you emerge. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Certainly arisen. How might I be of aid? You have no need of my assistance at present. But I welcome to Bjorn's Armory. And quality is what you need if you want to survive. I don't. We don't need a helmet because we already have the mask. So, before you check the Pope to see you again. Okay, he doesn't have what we need. Maybe the apothecary? Need anything? I doubt it, but we'll see. Courtly tunic. Uh, all right. Oh my god. Why is it so expensive, homie? What the? Dude. Stop by again soon. Yeah, you're a bastard. Look, I will master, not. A treasure chest. Awesome. We shall have to find a way to reach it. I wonder if we can rob some fools in. Is there a noble quarter? Okay, I thought I seen something about a noble quarter. Let's go into this house. That house. That house. We'll go in all those houses. Hopefully we can find some uh, noble clothes. Maybe that's what we need to do because that's... <laughs> I ain't buying... Uh, well, number one, I can't uh, buy the clothing for that much. It's insane. So this house over here. Oh. Keep pressing the wrong button. Lantern on. Uh, and it is much brighter. Nice. I cannot afford another night of cavorting. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of looting before we can continue this quest. Try not to make everybody dizzy. Not much going on. 
something more tiring than making conversation. A fine place to sit and gather one's thoughts. Whoa, don't do that. Can can you stop? Jesus. That that's one thing I'm I'm not a fan of. Having more of these to hand ought to serve us well in battle. Let us take care when and how we put them to use. I am not a fan of the movement system. It's too floaty. Like you you tell a tell your guy to stop or woman to stop and they just keep walking forward like that. Jesus. And I don't see any clothing. I don't know if we're going to be able to get the clothing that we need. Okay. Where? Where you at? I'm just grateful I get to lead a quiet life. Okay. Where are you taking me? I must check my ledger. Mindless labor is for mindless men. You gonna take me to get some clothes? Dude, I. I don't need to go that way. I need to find some clothes. I can't get into the masquerade without clothes. Dude, the camera just feels so damn close. No close. Follow me. No, I'm not following you. That's harsh, bud. Um, let's see. Let's put our mask on. Might as well. Oh, that looks cool. Hold on. We can have. Let's take. Let's take our helmet off, though. No, I want to remove it. There we go. There's one, two. That was two over there. You'll never reach our destination if you continue in that direction, Master. But I suppose I can guide us there later. Yes, please guide us there later because I'm trying to find some damn clothing. So I can't get into this damn masquerade. Without formal clothing. I mean, it's cool and all, but... Where the hell are you getting it? Do I have to get it by paying for it? Because I hope not. Well, you don't see that every day. I imagine my master would faint were I to return beyond the rift with it. Already went in there. Sorry it's taking me so long, everybody. Dude, I'm not following you. <laughs> this pawn, man. It's got a mind What's of its this? own. Come to admire my sculptures, have you? Ho oh, oh. ho! To think my eminence as a collector would reach in the ears of the arisen. If only my collection were complete, I'd fain allow you to inspect it. Alas, the sculpture that I commissioned to be its centerpiece is yet to arrive. And would wound my pride to have you behold my collection ere it is made whole. If your curiosity shall not be denied, however, mayhap you'd consider paying a visit to the sculptor in my stead. The man's home is located in Bak Batal. You need only tell him that I eagerly await the sculpture's completion. Okay. Could you come over here? No, I'm not following you, man. Okay, cool. It's not a timed quest. Thank Jeebus. 
This looks like a ritzy house. So maybe we'll find some clothing in here. Damn. No clothes. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to explore all through here. And once I'm done exploring... And hopefully finding some clothing, I will bring everybody back. So I'll see everybody in just a moment. That was actually quite quick. Whenever I left you guys, I was like exploring this house. And I found the clothing that we needed. So didn't take me too long. We're back. It's the same night. I didn't have to rest or anything. Now we can get this guy to... Stop showing us where We've we need arrived. to go. Okay. It's just That's saying that it's off limits to our pawns. And who, pray tell, are you supposed to be? I regret to inform you that there is no masquerade scheduled for today. Okay, well... That sucks. I guess let's... Rest until nightfall. Let's run back down to the inn. That was a waste of time. Might have uh, wasted too much time trying to find the clothing. Where is the inn? Oh, look at this. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. We ought to put it to good use. Nice. That is super awesome. Let's rest at the inn until nighttime. Good evening, sir. I trust you fared all right. Shall we get some rest then? It is an odd thing to wake after the sun has fallen. Shall we check our packs and be off? Feeling rested, I trust. There's adventure to be had if one only seeks it. Sorry, I was running around with my lantern off. Must we run everywhere? You are an impatient one, Arisen. Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. Would that all my days were so tranquil. Still waiting on number four. Uh, do you know how long you'll be? I only asked so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. Tis not our place to hurry the Arisen. The masquerade is already underway, sir. Twill be a long night. Longer still for those of us on guard. Hmm. You're far from your station, are you not? I was bored out my skull guard in the palace. At least here I can listen. This is 
saying so that, enjoy Sarah. 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 Our first sovereign in decades. Have you heard? The There's to be more restrictions on goods traded with Batal. Indeed. <clears throat> Ooh, what's in here? Are you, are you being serious right now? <laughs> uh, we could have come over here the whole time. Bunch of flowers. This is a time of celebration. Once the song has That's locked. I wonder why they showed that guy walking over there. Talk to this guy. Mm. Why, you're no. Pay me no mind. We who are gathered here are naught but nameless nobles. It would be uncouth to inquire after another's identity. It would seem our sovereign has. Surely these extravagances cannot continue. These festivities are part and parcel of our station. You were posted in prop I find it liberating to hide my face for a time. If you've naught to say, I'd best be going. Another fancy party hosted. Surely these extravagances can. So tell me more of this X card. These festivities are part and parcel of our station. Is this fast truly to the sovereign's taste? Is there nary a chance? Another ale can't make my dancing any worse. I find it liberating to hide my face for a Okay, there's a reason that they showed us that guy walking around, but I didn't see anybody over here. Okay, I just seen pop in. Oh. Well now, you're... What is it? Has something happened? Nah, we have it on good authority that a suspicious individual passed through here. We need to scour the area. Well, scour all you like. We won't find In here. Me. I've been here the whole time. Open up! Open this door right now. Dressed rather austerely for a patron. My humblest apologies, Lady Wilhelmina. We've had reports of an unseemly character in the vicinity, you see, and... Preposterous. I was out front till but a moment ago, and I did not see so much as a shadow. Be that as it may. You are excused. Leave this place. Ere you invite our noble host wrath upon yourself, I will summon you if aught is amiss. Pray forgive the intrusion. And what business have you here in the nobles' playground? Hmm? You've the face of someone in search of a juicy morsel. Would you be looking for this, perchance? 
Come on, then. Keep pouring. Do you take me for some green lad who can't handle his cups? I'm your damned king, and a king deserves royal treatment. <laughs> <laughs> of course, your majesty. Tell us, your majesty, would you prefer more drink, or shall we find some other way to amuse ourselves? <laughs> aye, aye. Let's change things up. <laughs> oh. I believe I cautioned you to keep your drunken revelry in check. Lest you forget, these celebrations of your valor are but a pretense for more serious matters. I, I know. I do. It's just I get the poison in me and things happen is all. <laughs> you need only serve as our false king until Sven becomes consul. Till then, however, you would do well to remember that your role demands a certain degree of dignity. I trust you understand your position, your majesty. Nay, I, I mean I. As you say, I'll, I'll go and sober up. Why not remove yours as well? This is not the masquerade hall, and we now find ourselves quite alone. What say we dispense with such pretenses and speak openly with one another? Lord Phasus. That will do. If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. What is your purpose here, I wonder? If you came to learn of the Sovereign, then tis as you have seen. The man is naught but a ale-swilling pretender propped up by the Queen Regent. Of course, that begs the question. If he's a mere mummer, then where might our true arisen be? You'd best go. I'll do what I can to help you make your escape. As you can see, I run an establishment that caters to certain pleasures. You're welcome to come and play any time, if you escape with your life, that is. Know, however, that our services do not come cheap. Uh, okay. Pretty much a brothel. To each their own. The world's better for it. Where to now? Is this where you've been all this time? It is rather far from where we agreed to meet up. Do take care not to stray so far next time. Let's go talk to Captain Brant. I don't know. I can never get his name right. I'm sure eventually I'll learn his freaking name. All I need my help, my There's a ladder here. Ah, excellent find. Trying to learn this area, this town, city. Welcome. Our road was a Greetings, your majesty. Apologies, master. I don't I like that every that single time we have to, like, have them come over here. Same dialogue. Pretty obnoxious. There is much we ought to tend to. 
if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Um, about the masquerade. Well, well. He is merely Deesa's puppet then. Tis likely that he knows naught of her schemes. Even were he to be removed, I suspect some other would simply be made to take his place. But if there's aught that compels my attention, tis this other man you mention. Phasus, was it? He seems a man of import, and yet, I have never heard of him. Pray, allow me to investigate this matter further. You've done well, Your Majesty. Thank you. So the false sovereign, Queen Regent Deesa, and this Phasus fellow are all working together? It's quite the sordid trio, eh? That's odd. Let's rest until morning. Mayhap I ought to ask around town. I have no clue where Sphinx Father is bringing me. There's a worthy prize, if only it weren't so far away. Where are you? Are, okay, I think I know where he's taking me all the way over here. So why don't we actually travel over there and check in on that town? We do have a fairy stone. One. Mm, I don't know how I feel about having only one fairy stone. Can we buy more let's go over an ox cart ought to make our journey easier should allow us to save our strength assuming we are not attacked that is yes yes let's go over here need anything we do fairies jesus christ dude what is wrong with this guy selling all right we're gonna have to buy at least just one that's insane. Many thanks. Our packs are heavier, and our purse is far lighter. Arisen, I know of at least one location in the vicinity that may be of interest to you. Shall I tell you more? Um, no. Let's use a fairy stone. And we're going to go over to... <gasps> we didn't pick it up. We didn't interact with it. Oh, man. Okay, well, in that case, I will see everybody at Harv Village. Right outside here. So, I will see everybody when we're at the village. That's it. I've had enough. Clear off. And don't come back till you're ready to do business properly. But I've got the coin, I swear it. I simply just... Where is it then, eh? Bring the coin, all of it, or I'll call the sentinels on you again. Are we clear? Tis uncommon for a lad of his age to be unable to shop on his own. Mayhap we ought to lend him a hand, Master. Well... I thought we were going to go <laughs> to that village, but I guess not. Oh, tis you. You're a welcome sight. Forgive my boldness, but I've a small favor to ask of you. Would you be willing to lend me some gold? I swear you'll be repaid in full. What do you need the gold for? A trinket in yon shop caught my eye. A small, ornate box of exceptional craftsmanship. Alas, it would seem I do not have the coin on hand to purchase it. I can certainly procure the gold later, but by then, the box might be gone. If you'd be kind enough to lend me the amount I need, I would repay every last coin. 
Yes? Is there aught I can do for you? Or could it be that you've reconsidered my request? Um, sure, I'll give you a thousand gold. That's not too much. Are you sure? Oh, many thanks. I shall repay you anon, you've my word. Not you again. I thought I made myself quite clear. Ah, but I've brought the gold this time. I assume that changes things. Oh, well, I. If you've got the gold, then you're welcome to spend it. This is... A treasure chest. My thanks. I finally have what I came for. And worry not, you'll have your coin back in good time, I promise you. He seems a young man of decent character. I believe his promise to repay you was a genuine one. I think so too. I wonder, can I make it? This ox cart's bound for me. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Mm, no, I'm not going to Melf. Okay, so. We were going the wrong way anyways. We need to go over here. Let's see if we can um, go over to this ox cart and see if it'll bring us over to Harv Village. If not, we'll... This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. We ought to put it to good use. We will... Um, Cut the video and then when we actually make it over there, we'll pick back up. Where's the guy for this? What the? Is he on this side? I think so. This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Okay, I don't know what the checkpoint rest town is, but it's not our destination. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run over to the village and I will see everybody over there. Alrighty, we have finally made it to the town. Also behind us is a dragon that I snuck around because I am not fighting a dragon right now. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and go into town and finish this quest up. And this time we're going to touch the port crystal before we leave. Sir Arisen, thank heavens you've come. Saurians have claimed the village yet again, if you can believe it. Just when almost all of the villagers had arrived as well. Oh, why must these scaly fiends beset us so? Oi, what are you doing standing about when there's work to be done? Jonas, this is the good sir I spoke of, the one who called the Saurians for us. Is that right? Then I expect you to aid us with this mess, stranger. You did it once afore, eh? Only natural you'd help finish the job. My apologies for the chief's temperament. Yet he speaks truly. We have need of your strength. Pray, calm the beasts as you did before, sir. I dare say you are the only one upon whom we can depend. These Saurians are a stubborn lot. What say we make them think twice about settling in again? Careful now! This creature is hard as stone, making it ideal for tossing at our other foes. The Arisen had Oh my goodness. Well. Certainly arisen. Am 
The Saurians are no more, I see. That's twice you've come to our rescue now. You're more than a friend to Harv Village, Sir Arisen. You are a hero. Truly, we cannot th Here he is! I found our troublemaker! Jonas! What is the meaning of this? This blasted beastron went and ventured into Stormwind Cave! How many times have we said none are to tread there? But he just had to poke his nose where it didn't belong. There can be no doubt. He's the one who incited this. Forgive me. I never meant for any of this to happen. <laughs> Trust a beastron to muck things up. Jonas! Surely there's no need for such talk. Yeah, you would say that, wouldn't you? Seems to me beastrons go causing problems. And we humans are lumped with the job of cleaning up after them. Jonas, please! You're being ridiculous. Fair! I do apologize. It would seem things have turned rather uncomfortable. But we mustn't let this sour your triumph. You came to our aid when we needed it most, and for that, you have our gratitude, Sir Arisen. I do hope you shall visit us again anon. A ruder fellow I never met. The village's troubles are far from done, if you ask me. Yeah, it seems like they got a lot of, well, well, how might I be of service? problems here. I'm pretty sure we will be back. We're going to go over here to this port crystal. We're going to activate it because I'm dumb. Now seems a fine time to sort through your belongings, Master. Lessening our load will help to keep us light on our feet. What we're going to do is, um, I think we'll just use a fairy stone to get back to... Ooh. Governing soul. Uh, to get back to Vernworth, I think it a is. Fine place to harvest some. We're about to find out. Oh, did I not use? Oh, no, I didn't because we didn't have the port crystal up. Vernworth. So I'll see everybody at Vernworth and then we're going to end the episode and when we come back, we will do some, uh, maybe find some side quests or something. All right, everybody. See you in just a second. Ingredients. All righty, everyone. This is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody, thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. I really appreciate it. It does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.